Hello Kyle, how are you doing today? Doing well. Welcome to Bourbon 30 Spirits Craft Distillery. What a cool place to be in a cool town. What, what do we got going on here today? We actually have people fly in from all over the U.S. to come here to do what's called private barrel selections. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds uh, very delightful. They'll come in and we'll pop some bungs off some barrels and uh, just have a wonderful time picking something that's unique to them. So what you're saying, oh, we're gonna have a little science today. Yes, we are. And, and we could blend something like a downstream bourbon out of these kind of, this, this stuff? Hmm, I, I like where you're going with that. Oh. So this is uh, an 11 and a half year old whiskey. All right, so this is uh, a whiskey thief and we're gonna use this. Kind of works like a straw and- a Big straw. It is. So you know how you have a dominant eye, right? Do you know that, um, yeah, here you go, look. Okay, there you go. You know you actually have a dominant nostril too? This aids in helping you identify the uh, bourbon profiles and flavors. One side you're gonna pick up more ethyl alcohols and the other side you're gonna pick up uh, more of the flavors and uh, notes and the taste. This, this one, it's this one. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so this is another 11 and a half year old whiskey. Uh, we're going to draw a sample from this, and you're going to compare it to this, and you'll be like, okay. Same age, right? different barrel. Same age, same mash bill, everything. Wow, okay. Already a different profile, remember. Totally different. Wow. Right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's my good nostril. I think I just sucked some up there. That burns a lot. Sure. So this is a four-year-old Kentucky bourbon. Four years, so this one's young. It's a little baby. Mm -hmm. It is. All right. But it's so good. So if we get down to it and we're going to blend one, how do you go about it? How do you All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for a baseline. Okay. Something's got some body to it. Right. You know, we want some body. Yes. Now, uh, then we're gonna look at the front and the end. You know, the problem is I like a good front end and I like a good back end. I do too. You know, it's about the balance. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You know, sometimes I like the back end better and sometimes I like the front end better. Yeah, it just it, you depends know, it just on, depends on the mood. Well, it depends on the direction you want to head. True. All right. I like this as a base. Let's do it. I think I think the bourbon whiskey as a base. Okay. You, all, right, all right, there's one. How about if we go to this one next, or do you want to stay here? Let's do an ounce of this one and an ounce of this one. Okay. And see what happens. All right. You seem to know what you're doing there. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Not on TV. You handle that quite well. Now what I need you to do is very carefully uh, pour this into there. Carefully. Very carefully. I'm gonna put the hydrometer in there, put it in there slowly, and we are going to All read, the way down. All the way down. Oh, I put too much in. Look it's at floating. that. Now see, uh, can you see where it says proof? Oh, look at that. How cool is that? So we're at 110. We're at 110. 110, so. All right. Now no, what look. proof do you want it to be? 200. Not gonna happen. <laughs> how, about, how, about a, how about a 90? We 90? can do that. Okay, you know what? We've got some Royal Spring water. Is this it? That is it. Well, it looks like regular water to me. Uh, yeah, it should be. All right, so you are going to put a little bit of Royal Spring okay, in the so beaker here, and you're gonna proof it down, which uh, you're gonna add a little bit of water. So now you are setting at, you're setting at 90. That was good. Are you sure you haven't done this before? Only in my bathtub. All right. All right. Now, how about we siphon it old school out of the barrel? Siphon it? Oh, yeah. So I get my gasoline. All right. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to hook you up here. There's your bottle. You want to set that on the uh, floor there? On the floor, okay, I put yeah. this on the floor. Why not do everything old school? On the floor, the bottle's on the floor. All okay, right. so we can put this in here. We're gonna pull the body out first. You'll see it come all the way out and up through here. Pour a little water and then we pour back in there. 
with the infamous Royal Spring. Now how much would you go to see if we do a little yeah. bit? You are at 90. Is it 90? Yep. We're gonna see what your um, craft is now. This is the downstream bourbon 30. I like that. That is pretty solid. You should All try right. That. You, sir, have done very well. Jeff, thank Kyle. you so much. You've been useless in my quest for my riddle answer, but you've been magical in my quest for making this bourbon. And what we're going to do now is head to local feed and see if you. they That's can phenomenal. make a, Is it yeah. good? Okay, because oh, yeah. I'm hungry. I need Fantastic. to you know, soak up a little bit of this. But right. we're going to see if they can make a uh, cocktail out of the downstream bourbon 30. Fantastic. All right. I Cal, come back and see us. You can count on it. This is a cool, cool concept. Program made possible by the Georgetown Scott County Tourism Commission. Georgetown, Kentucky. Pure, small town charm. Georgetown, Scott County Parks and Recreation, Four Roses Bourbon, and West Banco.